Hello everyone and welcome to the Autopedia channel. The Japanese luxury car manufacturer Infiniti just launched their third generation of their full-size SUV, the QX80 model. And in today's video, we'll compare it with his direct rivals, the two Americans Lincoln Navigator and the Cadillac Escalade, and also with the European Mercedes-Benz GLS. So let's get started and first of all, let's compare their exterior sizes. And the Cadillac Escalade measures a 211.9 inches long, making it the longest of the bunch. The Lincoln Navigator comes in close at 210 inches. And the Infiniti QS80 matches the Escalade at 211.2 inches. Lastly, the Mercedes GLS is the shortest at 206 inches. And now let's step inside and see what they have to offer. And from the beginning we can say one thing. All of them equips a maximum of 8 seats except the Mercedes-Benz GLS which offers just 7 seats. And another important point of decision when buying a big size SUV is the cargo space and of course in a modern vehicle the digital dashboard that offers the multimedia experience on board. So the Cadillac Escalade offers a huge 38 inches of OLED digital displays and up to 143 cubic feet of cargo space with the row 2 and 3 folded. Moving on to the Lincoln Navigator, who features a 12-inch digital instrument cluster and a 13.2-inch touchscreen navigation, and it offers up to 103 cubic feet of cargo space. On the other side, the latest released on the market, the Infiniti QX80, equips two 14.3-inch curved displays, one for the digital instrument cluster and the other one for the multimedia touchscreen and a 9-inch touchscreen for the climate controls. While the boot space isn't specified, it promised to be larger than the previous model. And the last but not the least, the Mercedes GLS, which comes with a 12.3-inch driver display and a 12.3-inch central touchscreen. It offers also a 84.77 cubic feet of cargo space to the seat 1 and 17 cubic feet to the seat 3. So in this case, the Escalade with his 143 cubic feet of cargo space offers the biggest trunk from our video, offering at the same time an amazing multimedia experience through his 38-inch digital display. And now let's talk about power. And the Cadillac Escalade offers a 420 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 naturally aspirated engine and a more economical 277 horsepower 3 liter turbo diesel. The Escalade V takes it up a notch with a staggering 682 horsepower. And the Lincoln Navigator comes standard with a 450 horsepower 3.5 twin turbo V6, providing enough power for any adventure from his smaller but modern engine. Also, a V6 3.5 liter twin turbo engine that outputs the same amount of 450 horsepower equips the totally new Infiniti QX80, promising impressive performance on and off road. The Mercedes-Benz GLS offers a range of powertrains that starts with a basic 375 horsepower 3 liters inline 6 and goes up to the amazing 603 horsepower twin turbo V8, which equips the AMG GLS 63, providing the highest performance. And as well in this case, the Cadillac Escalade with his supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that outputs 684 horsepower with the price for the most powerful vehicle from our list. And the last but not the least, let's talk about warranty and money. And in terms of warranty, the Infiniti QS80 being the only one that offers a 4 years and 700,000 miles of warranty, the rest of the group offering the same 4 years but only 50,000 miles of warranty. As for prices, the Cadillac Escalade starts at around $84,000 and can go up to $150,000 for the Escalade V. The Lincoln Navigator starts at $84,000 and goes up to $150,000 for the Black Label L. The Infiniti QX80 starts at around $84,000 and can reach up to $112,000. Lastly, the Mercedes GLS starts at $88,000 and goes up to $177,000 for the Maybach version. And now the time has come to draw a conclusion, and in our opinion, because of its bigger size, multimedia experience and powerful powertrains, the Cadillac Escalade, it might be the best price-value ratio option. But on the other side, if we take in consideration the extended warranty and the fact that it's a newer vehicle, the Infiniti QX80 is also a very good option. We would like to know also your opinion, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching our video till the end and if you like it, please hit us with a like and subscribe to our channel for more new upcoming videos.